FAA officials flying into town today at the request of Denver International Airport. The agency is fully on board with the Skyport and police when it comes to drone safety around the nation's runways. The new flying tools come in all shapes and sizes and have both hobby and commercial uses, but they also pose problems for other vehicles they share the sky with. They can be pretty dangerous. So I try not to fly it anywhere close to people, let alone airports. And understanding those risks is what the FAA, DIA, and the FBI want the public to know. But operators who don't follow the rules are creating a potentially unsafe situation for commercial aircraft. Which is why the FAA is putting out a new PSA to help drone users know how and where to fly. You aren't allowed to fly higher than 400 feet or that you need permission to fly within five miles of an airport. Operators in 20 incidents are facing charges by the feds for flying too near airports, stadiums, or emergency scenes. Our fines for egregious operations can be $27,500 per, per violation. Anybody that interferes with a manned aircraft can actually be sentenced up to a 20-year maximum sentence and um, $250,000 fine. The CIA is being proactive in light of seven documented sightings at altitudes of 3,600 feet and as close as 500 feet to approaching aircraft. But as the PSA indicates, by next year, millions of these devices will be sold. At man-made productions, they understand that drones can get the shot but there is great risk. There's substantial uh, possibilities of, of both property damage and or somebody getting harmed because it is a flying object. While drones around airports are a major concern, the FAA hopes that the education and enforcement piece being announced today here in Denver will go a long way to keep the flying public safe. At Stapleton, John Bowman, Fox 31, Denver.